What happens when you take this percussion instrument, Ludwig drums, Butch Vig drums, Massive X, and the ARP 2600? You get this week's Beat of the Week from your rock. This Beat of the Week was inspired by legendary producer and drummer Butch Vig. You probably know Butch from his work on albums like Nirvana's Nevermind, Smashing Pumpkin's Gish, Foo Fighters Wasting Light, and as the drummer for the band Garbage. I first met Butch about eight years ago after he purchased some products from my previous company, The Loop Loft. I saw his name on the order list one day and of course was amazed to see one of my favorite producers buying my own drum packs. I sent Butch a follow-up email to say thanks and a friendly email exchange followed. Fast forward three years later and I end up selling the Loop Loft to Native Instruments. I moved to LA as part of the acquisition and soon reached out to Butch just telling him I was in town. We decided to meet up for lunch and over the course of that meal we came up with a plan to design his first ever drum plug-in. A few months later, we entered the legendary United Studios and spent two days recording a ton of different drum kits and cymbals. As a drummer and a fan of Butch, I was in complete drum heaven. Over the course of the next year, Butch took the tracks back to his home studio while I worked with the team at Native Instruments to design the interface. We finally released Butch Fig Drums to the world in 2020, and I'm happy to say it quickly became one of Native Instruments' top selling products. Fast forward again to 2022, and Butch reached out to me about working on another project, this time at the legendary Rancho de la Luna Studios in Joshua Tree. Last October, we recorded three different drummers and were now in the process of preparing for the next release. As I was referencing sounds from Butch's Native Instruments plugin, I was stopped dead in my tracks by his kit, affectionately known as Candy Ass. I quickly went from reference mode to beat making mode. I programmed a syncopated beat just using the kick and snare from Butch's kit, and then layered my own groove on top, utilizing my big Ludwig drum kit, some brushes, and a very unique percussion instrument called the Hadfoon, which was invented by my former teacher at Berkeley, Jamie Haddad. To match the bigness of Butch's drum samples, I went for a big sound of my own, channeling the work of engineer and mixer, Bob Clear Mountain. Bob is known for his bigger than life drum sounds with artists like Bruce Springsteen, David Bowie, and Brian Adams. I utilized Sound Toy's Effect Rack plugin to add a big gated reverb drum sound along with some delay. I then bounced my acoustic drums from Logic and loaded up Ableton. And this is when I really started to nerd out. So here we are in Ableton, and on tracks one and two, you can hear the Ludwig drums and Butch's. Uh, contact drums from the Butch Fig Drums instrument. Load that up. There it is. And then the next step I thought was to add a cool polyrhythmic synth part. And one of my favorite synths in the world is the ARP 2600 from Arturia. Um, I was just browsing kind of their different sequence presets and landed on this 80s trip preset, which um, sounds like this. And here we go. So you can hear it has like a polyrhythmic three over four thing to it. And it just lines up well with the drums. So once I had that going, I then went to another one of my favorite synths, which is Massive X from my old company, Native Instruments. Not my old company, but the company that bought my old company. And landed on this preset called Woozle. I wanted to make another kind of polyrhythmic melody to go over this rhythmic bed that the ARP 2600 is doing. And that sounds like this. So that's the phrase. It's a four bar loop, it just keeps going. And this is the exact same download. Uh, if you click, scroll to the bottom of the blog that you're reading, or if you're not reading this, and if you're on YouTube, click in the show notes, it'll take you to the blog. Um, and at the very bottom, there's a big download button. It's pretty impossible to miss. You'll get every single loop in here, just the audio files. And in addition to that, you'll also get this full Ableton session, which you can open up. Um, I think you only need Ableton 10 like intro. Um, so it should work for pretty much everybody. Check it out, have fun, play with it. Um, and please, if you make anything, share it online and just be sure to tag Yurt Rock 
beat of the week. Um, and we'll be sure to reshare it, repost it, and spread the word. So hope you guys had some fun. Hope you learned a little bit about, um, I guess, my history and um, some stuff that we have coming up with Butch and Rancho de la Luna. Um, but in the meantime, have fun with these tracks. And until I see you again next week, take care. All right, guys. Have a good night.